try not to drink too much coffee. Alright, so... Here we go. We're going to play the same kind of groove, you know. Alright, I don't want to keep going too fast. We're going to, we're going to do them one at a time. Here's the G, the, uh, the G, which is E-shaped. So it's the fifth, which is E-shaped. It's going to be up here. You can play that as a dominant. Because now we're going to hit that note. Now watch what happens when we hit the G, the D, D shaped F. What's going on is I'm playing the same exact diatonic scale for all three shapes. That's why playing and learning your diatonic scales with these shapes is so much fun. You know, it's fun after you learn them. So let's look at the let's look at um, another shape here. Let's look at the D shape. Okay, so we've got D is root is D shape, G shape, and then A shape. Okay, so we got, I can play it a little bit better down here. Roots D shape. So we got D shape root. G, G shape fourth. And then A shape fifth. Now, keep in mind, if we want to play out of that D box, no matter where that D box is, it's going to be right here. And this gets a little tricky because I've got a down-tuned guitar. You would have to find whatever D box you want. But when you do, you know, if you're not in the key of C, the D shape could be anywhere. That's what I'm saying. Okay, I just had to get my uh, dinner out of the oven. So it's just potatoes and vegetables, but they were raw before I cooked them. <laughs> anyway, so let's look at the D box here. You know, you got your D shaped root here. This is going to be D shaped root, E minor shaped Dorian, G minor shaped. You know, we've done this before. G minor shaped Phrygian, G major shaped Lydian. Know, so let's let's realize one thing we, we can play this D box as our lead but we don't have to do these chords in the D box we can do them whatever we want a lot of people like to do them in E shape so it'd be okay now Let's first slow it down and look at the look at the pentatonics. Pentatonically in the D box, we're going to start with that G. We're going to do it backwards. So it's going to be A shape, G shape to D shape. So it's it's going to be A shape from there. G shape all 
all right so then we're going what to the I can get this C down here the point is you don't have to play it in that box you can play your groove chords however you want but you want to pay attention to where you're playing the lead so you can stay in the same box if you want to do a, a cage bound diatonic scale so now what happens so we did that before we'll do it one more time so we've got the A shape pentatonic and then we got the the uh, you can just do it with you know you can just slide it along another E shape def you just bring it down but that's going to be the G shape and then the C shape is going to be your D shaped pentatonic That's fine and dandy, but what happens if we want to employ the diatonic scale in the D shape from start to finish, this low D up to this high E? Okay, so what are we going to play there? Now we're in the D box here. Let's let's break away from the. Remember, we're in this D box here. Let's break away for that for a second and look at what pattern we're going to play. It says right here. D is easy. It's going to be an S3L and S2L. So we're going to start with an S3L with the D shape right there. So this is the new thing about the new chart chartlet that I have here is the S3L is really the starter one for the D shape. So it says D on the bottom, D right there. S2L is the starter shape for the C shape. C right there, C on the bottom string. S4L is the starter shape for the E shape. E on the bottom string, E right there. A is A. A1, A. I don't know what avenue he was on, but he made a lot of money with that song. Um, and then the G, the same thing. The G shape is going to be. So we're going to do the D shape. We're going to start with the S3L. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to do the groove. We're going to start with the S3L. It's pretty easy. It's just. And then we're going to go right to an S2L. On top of that, three, four, five, warp it up, six, seven, root, and then we're going to return. The only uh, single string up here is simply the D shape again, two, three, four. So we go like something like. Let's slow it down a little bit. We start with the C. We're going to do that D shape. See, now you get to use your ear. So to stop that, that start to finish six string diatonic scale doing something like this so somewhere along the line you got to you got to figure out what you're playing diatonic scale you get to use your ear 